Hi, this is Johnny. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to uh, change the background. Okay, so to change the background, we are going to start a new topic, and this is how to change the background. Because I know some people don't understand what I'm saying, so it's best I type it out, and so I don't skip any step. So to go to change the background for the LCD, you need to go to this location. Go to this location and then uh, edit the file called bk.png. And this one, the size is going to be, uh, for the LCD, is going to be 320 by 240. Okay, and then the other one for the TV, it will be the same location for the TV. It will be this location, and you also going to edit this file. And so that's for the that's for the size of the bk.png, okay? And this is for the LCD screen, LCD. And the TV you want, you're gonna be, uh, the TV need to be 1280 by 720, okay? So I'm, this is the picture. Uh, the one I'm going to edit is the one called PK. Okay. So I'm looking for PK, and this is my PK. All right. But the problem is, uh, there's something I don't like about this is because when I was looking at the menu, this red was blocking the the name. So what I'm going to do is edit the file, and this is how you normally do it. You know, you edit the file, you change the size, make sure. The picture you download is 320 by 240. Okay, this is the picture size, not for the 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 box art. The box art is I gave you the wrong number, but this is this is for the picture background. Okay, so you just say okay to change it. You know the size. Now I don't like this that's blocking it. So what I'm going to do is going to view, and I'm going to zoom in, zoom in. Okay. Now this is a dark dark blue. So I'm going to go and click on edit the color and change it to dark blue. But I need to select one of the boxes Add this box. So I say, okay. So this is the dark blue that I want to use. I want to make both of them dark blue. Then I'm going to use the scissor to cut it, the select cut it. So I'm going to cut from here across because I don't want it to block the, the name. Uh, not low, in, not high enough. Okay, so I'm gonna click delete. All right, so that way at least the name is not getting covered by this. Okay, so this would be just Neo Geo and Capcom. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna view and then zoom out, zoom out, and it's okay, it's not bad. So you're gonna have the picture he show up better over here. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it for the, my backup copy. So when you switch to my, uh, you you are not going to go back to the old picture. You're going to go back to the same one. So I'm going to save it to the LCD screen. I'm looking for the one called uh, main. This is the main one. I'm going to change it to that. And then uh, I'm going to say save. Say yes. Okay, all right, so close that out. Now, let's use a different picture. Let's just say you download pictures and this is the original one and you wanted to use a different one. So you're gonna go and check a different one. Okay, so let's say you wanna use this one. So you're gonna change the name. Uh, you're gonna rename this to something else, otherwise you cannot change the name. So I'm gonna call it uh, PK1, all right? 
then you're going to come over here and then you're going to say okay i want to change to this one or if you don't like so many color you could change to this one or you could go to just the black screen all right so if you want this one i'm just going to do take that one do a copy and paste so i don't lose this one and i'm going to change this to uh b uh bk okay i don't know what bk stands for background uh, BK. So this picture now is going to show up as my main screen when I turn on the, the game. Okay. And this this one, the size is correct. See, it's 320 by, by 240. So that 320 by 240. So this is the correct size. So now we're going to go and look at it and see if... Now, the way you could get the picture is you could go to uh, uh, Google, G-O-O-G-L-E dot com. Don't type it wrong. Google.com. And then you're going to uh, go to Google search. And then you're going to look for Neo Geo uh, Wallpaper uh, This wallpaper. Or you could put Neo Geo Desktop Wallpaper. Then you click on image, and then you get all kind of cool image that you could use. You could use this one, you could use that one, as long as it's black, uh, because the Neo Geo, for some reason, and this is the one, see, this, they didn't make it, nobody make it, see, everybody always downloads. See, this is the one that we are using as default. So you could, you know, pretty much get any one you want. You could use this one, use that one, you this fancy colorful one, which is probably will confuse people more because there's too much color. You, now the light one, this one might not work because it's, uh, I mean, we could download that. That looks pretty cool. You could save the picture and you want to save it in the same place. We're going to go V, uh, enter. Can you find it? Okay, let's go to the L drive, go to old fashioned way, just click on it and look for NG, go to image, go to main, and that's where you change the background. So main, the LCD one is over here, so you can save it here. So we can save this one as a uh, Neo Geo uh, BK dot PNG. Okay, now the problem is this size is not correct. The size is not correct. So we have to change the size. Okay, and then we could go down here, look for more background. You could use this kind of background if you want, the little dot, but I don't like this thing. You could delete that. So you could edit it, make it better. You could choose different background, any background you like. You could even, you know, use this one or use the one, this one, whatever background you, you choose. Okay, you can use this, you know, whatever that, you know, the font, it look good, like, you know, you could go crazy with that, this one, you could use that one as well, this one, whatever one that look pretty cool. Okay, so when you're done with it, you're going to open this file, say show the folder, and we're going to edit the file, because the file had to be LCD size, so we're going to say resize, and we're going to change that to a 320 by 240 okay otherwise it's not going to work okay had to be this size it look okay it's not too bad save it all right so now it's here the size correct all right so let's go ahead and check it out uh we we chose this uh black solid black one because i know some people don't like too much too much color so this is the black one and this is a the stuff that it looked pretty cool with a, this one and if you or you could use this one i add two pictures three pictures into this one so you could do that or you could just use uh this more colorful one that my friend created or you could use just a plain black one which we are going to do and see what it look like all right so we're going to go ahead and reject the, this and check it out all right let's minimize that and let's go check it out Alright, so we boot up to the, the new background. 
uh, it looks pretty sharp. It looks pretty good. Uh, see, like I say, the number is down here. And so you, when you change it, see, it's not blocking it. So that cartridge is pretty useful. So you could actually, and then the name is up here. Nothing is blocking it. So it looks very nice with the with this background. And then the Neo Geo title is on the top. It's not blocking the name. So you could go down the list. And so instead of just a plain black one that they, they use, you could use this one because this is the Neo Geo uh, console. And that's the Neo Geo and the logo is there. So it's pretty nice. So then you could just go around. And then if you go to the setting, you can see that this is the, the Neo Geo you know, thing. So you could use this one if you prefer, you know, that way, uh, you know, I know a lot of people, they don't like it too complicated, you know, too colorful. It's kind of it's hard to, to figure out what it's worth, you know, so. All right, so this is all the metal slot one, one, two, three, four, five, X and three. Okay, so yeah, so this one is pretty nice, you know, I can't make the font any darker than what it is right there because uh, even though I changed the font, it's still that, you know, kind of greatest look where here is, you know, it's darker and thicker and here's the same thing, you know, you go to game list, it's darker, but I can't, I can't figure out how to get the one on the main, the default one, because apparently the default one did not, now this is also darker, but this this one here is still not very dark. So I don't know how uh, to change that font. I thought I know how, but apparently it didn't work. Okay. All right, so you could use this one as the default. Now, if you don't like the gray, you could change it to, well, white, white doesn't do well. So yeah, that's fine. That still works. So this is a good one to have. Okay, and there's another one that we could try and that's the one that my my uh, friend created where they have a very colorful uh, background on both sides you can use that one as well but this is just the idea to show you that it's not hard to change the background but you do want to pick something is dark especially uh, darker gray or black or dark blue but you don't want to use anything that's too bright you know so we could go back to the other one since we i changed that little cutoff to be more straighter let's see what it looked like okay let's go check that one out okay that's the old one we were looking at but i forgot to uh, power it off and plug the usb i unplugged the usb before i turn it off so i forgot so the screen is still showing that interesting all right so i changed the other one where using the the same background but you have my animation added to it and then the the big screen, I use the white background. I don't know how that looks. I just want to see how it looks. So I'm going to plug a TV, uh, a TV to it and see what it looks like. It's taking a long time to boot up. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right. Let's see what this one. So this is the one that I created using the same background, but I added this to it. So if you go to the uh, setting, uh, you get this. Okay, uh, screen is too bright. There you go. Now you can see it better. All right. So this is the one that I that I'm the one that the original one that I have created, and so this one's pretty cool. It's not blocking the the name at all, so the name is all up there on top, so you can see it. And then you still have the two pictures at the bottom, so I like it. And then the number is still in the in the in the middle. Now, if we plug this to a TV, you get a different background. I used to, I just, want, I was just curious if I use a white background with the, with this thing show up. So let's try, let's try it out. Let's plug it to the TV. Okay, we're gonna plug this. Uh, right now, this is what is showing on a small Neo Geo Mini. But when we plug this uh, converter to H HDMI, the mini version, uh, uh, the, or micro, I don't know, is it called micro or what? I'm not sure. Okay. So if you now uh, look on the top, which we're gonna scroll up to the top, excuse that metal, that one's the uh, Raspberry Pi. Oh, I can't get it up there. 
So let's go up to the top. Mm, let's uh, zoom in. And now the screen is in the white format. Okay. So now it's in the that different screen. So we are going to hold that position and see what it looks like. Okay. So now it's using the white background. The same picture that I showed you a while ago, but it's now it's white. And the lettering, you can't really see it because you can see in red, but here it disappeared. So if you want to use a white background, it's not going to work very well because you don't see, you only see the name on because there's a red here, but here the white, you can't see it. So you can't really see no name at all. So the white background is nice and pretty, but you just can't see the description. Now the font is black, but when it came to Neo Geo, it automatically changed to a darker white. Because that's the same font that I use for uh, arcade stick, but apparently it doesn't work well. Now those are the TV uh, version of the box art. And so they used the original model. Well, no, yeah, I think they did. Uh, they used... No, those are all... I'm not sure. They are mixed between my my box art and the one that uh, they they have. I don't. I think all this is my box art because this is the from my game list. Let's go check. See the problem is this is all white, and you cannot really see. Now this one you could see. This one is a black image. You could see pretty good, but with the with the white one, yeah, it's hard to see. Can we really see it? And this is my Capcom's uh, game set. Okay. Yeah, you can't see the font because it's it's white. Yeah, so the Capcom, most of them are my box art. But the way I look at it, as long as you have a box art, it doesn't matter, you know. You know, as long as you have a box art, at least the kids who play it, or anybody who play it would know. I mean the white background is nice and pretty, but the font is white. You, you barely could see the name, so so the white background is a no-no to change. Okay, so I'll just let you see that. So if you if you was to unplug it again from the back, and which we're gonna do, we're just gonna unplug it, and then you are going to uh, go down to the bottom. Neo Geo Mini and it's back to the original one so you don't have to pick the same background image you could choose different background image like you know like okay the one I'm playing for myself I want to use a different background and the one I want to display on TV I want to use a different background so you could do that okay you don't have to be the same I try to set it the same because that way it'd be less confusing for people it's like okay this is what I'm seeing on, on the LCD screen the small one but why when I go to TV is different you know I don't want to confuse people that's the reason I kept it the same so same background so that way it will be less confusing all right that's pretty much it on the background changing just want to demonstrate that to let you guys know that you could uh, customize your background you could change the background to whatever background you like but it's probably best to use the white back uh, black background because otherwise you cannot see the the description and so same with the TV as well okay all right and then uh, uh, I created some batch file that you could copy and, and put it into your system so that way you have more option to pick one pick from and you could just run the batch file instead of changing yourself manually but it's a good exercise to do it manually so you know how to do it but if you want to prefer to use the batch file I went and did uh, all the batch file for all the background that I have and then you could use that as well okay alright thank you for watching later